My name is Scott Morrow and welcome to the Blue OK. I have a grin on my face from ear to ear. I'm really excited today because Mateen Noblia, uh, a fellow chef from San Francisco, is here today. Mateen, welcome. Hi. And thanks for coming to the Thank Blue you. OK. Uh, Mateen and I are sharing a green drink from Amy in the kitchen and we're talking about food. Uh, Mateen has a wonderful restaurant in San Francisco called Iluna Basque and I noticed that Mateen had a raw food dish on his menu, uh, gazpacho. Yes, and when I saw this dish, I said, I've got to meet Mateen. I want to invite him to the Blue OK. I want to introduce him to Amy. Maybe he'll make some gazpacho for us on camera. And today's the day. Mateen, thanks so much for coming. Oh, no problem. Uh, so you never made a gazpacho? Well, we do make a gazpacho, but we haven't made one. Uh, we haven't put that recipe uh, on the website yet. Oh, nice. And we want to have your influence. So now we're going to have kind of a we're going to have your gazpacho, and we might make some later, but you may make the best gazpacho in the whole world. We may not even try to compete. <laughs> but we wanted to welcome you to the cafe today. And Mateen and I have been here talking, and there's a thing that's going on, particularly in America, but I think it's all around the world. People are noticing that being healthy is important. It's very important, yes. How you feel and how your family feels, these could be the most important things in your life. Yeah. Recently, I got engaged on uh, this company. It's called Isogenics, and they do nutritional cleansing. So since I've been uh, involved in this company last year, I switched my uh, uh, menu in the restaurant into organic items, and I, I, oh, I added like some really healthy uh, dish in there, and that's why there's a gas patch because it's raw. And mm -hmm. um, so that's my goal, to eventually completely switch everything to completely organic and really healthy for the body. Fantastic. Well, this is uh, good news for our listeners and good, good news for the people of San Francisco uh, who come to your restaurant. Yes. We were discussing this matter of health has now become, it's a topic of conversation. It's a topic of conversation at dinner tables, restaurants. Uh, we're enjoying a green drink made from uh, kale and collards. It's, it's amazing. And grape it. juice. And the fact is that the, uh, the properties of the kale, uh, the protein, the vitamin C, the grape juice, the re resveratrol. Resveratrol. Thank you, Mateen. Uh, <laughs> these things are very good for you. They help you stay healthy and they help you live longer. And it's not hard to make them part of your life. It's just maybe something you're not used to. You need to learn, and we can train anybody. Absolutely. We're actually opening a health center as well next to the restaurant. It's going to have chiropractor, massage, acupuncture, and nutrition through mm -hmm. isogenics. Oh, really? Right yes. next to your restaurant? Right next to my restaurant. Oh, that'll be fantastic. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm just thrilled that you're here because we're all about feeling good and being healthy <laughs> and showing our viewers how to do it as well. Amy is very serious about her raw foods, about her organic foods, mm -hmm. and about fresh fruits and vegetables and yes. combining them. And we do that on camera. Today, you're here making gazpacho. I'm just um, I'm having a great time. But the next time we turn the cameras on, you and Amy can be in the kitchen, and uh, we'll, we'll have some gazpacho. Sounds good. Sounds good. Great. Yes. Thank you. Hi, I'm Amy. Welcome to the kitchen at the Blue OK. Today I'm very happy to introduce our guest chef, Martin Noblia, who is the owner and chef of the restaurant in San Francisco, Luna Basque. And he's here today to make the gazpacho that he has on his menu. Show me how to do it and let me taste it. So, Martin. Cool. So, uh, yeah, I have, we have some really beautiful heirloom tomatoes here. Yes. That's really good. And you guys grew that here? We grew some of them here and some of them we found at the farmer's market. We have a good mix going and some of our peppers from the garden as well. Those look really good. I mm. love it. Um, they smell really good mm -hmm. as well. I'm thinking uh, the, uh, the base of the gazpacho is tomatoes, so uh, we're not going to be making a lot of it, but for two people, three sure, people? Two or three people, yeah. So we're going to be using at least three little tomatoes. Okay. Uh, maybe there's a good one right here. Yeah. Right here. And then take off the... Uh, the thing that we don't want in the gazpacho. Right. I don't want that in the gazpacho. Right. And then cut them into little pieces. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can help me. Sure. Too. And <laughs> just so we put it down in a little chunk so it doesn't okay. like get stuck in the uh, in the blender. In the blender. Please. Okay. And we can put that blender up here. Sure. Like that. Put the tomatoes in there. Oof, this smells so mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Finally, we have tomatoes off the vine. We were waiting and waiting all summer. You know, many tomato fans, and this is the time of year where you just try and do everything you can with tomatoes. Caprese. It's so good for you. Gazpacho, exactly. It's, it's good fresh. for you, and the smell, you hardly need to do anything to the tomatoes when they're this fresh. So I'm going to put a little bit of a, a green bell pepper. Mm-hmm. 
to use the green. Yep, the, for the green. Okay. Uh, we could we could even go for red, any color of red okay. pepper. Uh, same thing. I've just cut in little pieces mm -hmm. like that. I don't want to put too much because we're gonna have to put some other. And uh, let's put. Uh, how about a red one? Sure. You want me to work on the red one? Yes. Sure. sure. And then we're gonna put a little bit of a uh, cucumber mm -hmm, too. Mm -hmm. This is an English cucumber. Yeah, I peeled that uh, just, one. Yeah, we just peeled it, mm -hmm. and then we can cut it in little uh, cubes. Okay. Like this, so I can break it down easily. Mm -hmm. uh, let's put that down there. It brings that little freshness, fresh taste, and. Mm -hmm. Do you want about half of this red bell pepper? We can put probably half. Half. Yes, okay. Half of that, and then we have that garlic over there that we, yes. we want to put. One at home, one. okay. Here. Um, what I'm going to do with the garlic, I'm going to just smash it down so that way it'll be pre broken down already. There we go. Put that down here, and we need to put a little bit of onion mm -hmm. as well in there. And same thing, I'm not going to put the whole thing yeah. since we're only doing it for um, two or three person. Yeah, and I find with the raw foods, the flavors are so pronounced. Nothing's been cooked out of them, so you only need, you know, maybe one bit. clove of garlic, a little bit Definitely of onion. Definitely need less, yes. Yeah. So, probably just that will be mm -hmm. plenty of it, mm -hmm. like that. And you know what we're going to need is we're going to need a little bit of uh, water sure. to put in there. Sure. So that will get things started and blended. Uh, so I'll, I'll say you probably uh, definitely at least uh, a cup and a half okay. in there. That's big, right? Okay. And then I want to put a little bit of red wine vinegar too to bring in a little bit of acidity in mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. uh, not too much, just a little just bit. A dash. A dash. And we definitely need to put some salt. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, Hawaiian salt? Himalayan. Himalayan, Himalayan salt. sea salt, yeah. Beautiful. And the sea salt is always the best way to go. Mm -hmm. Like that. Mm. And then we can put a little bit of black pepper in there. Mm -hmm. Not too much. Like that. And now we put the top okay. like this. Make sure it's closed mm -hmm. tight. Turn it to seven. And we start maybe we start first at low and then we go yeah, higher. Mm -hmm. It looks like a gazpacho right now. It's looking like a gazpacho. Uh -huh. I think it should be okay. So um the tomatoes and everything, it, 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 it stays a little bit white, but if you want to make it redder, you can use a little bit of a tomato paste. Oh, okay. Or you can use paprika mm -hmm, or, mm -hmm. um, you know, as much as possible using red fruit. Right. The red things will keep it red. Keep it red. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's why we put a little bit of a green bell pepper, but mm -hmm. I like the taste of it, so. Mm -hmm. All right. And then after you've done this, what you can do also is you can uh, filter it. Uh, chinois with the right, chinois right. and it's kind of get the, the seeds out but I know you guys like it just the way it is. We do. We like eat that. all the seeds so in the, that are in the raw fruits and vegetables the for seeds their are nutrition. Good for the uh, uh, cleansing. Absolutely. So Absolutely. this is perfect. Um, we'll, all we do is just we keep it like this and then serve it like that. Um, maybe before I do that maybe I should taste it myself. Sure, sure. So that way I know I'm serving something that is eatable. Always a good, always good to check. Mm. Like I oh, love good, it. Good. It's really good. Right on point. Oh, good. I can't wait to taste. Hey, my team. Hey. Hi. How are Heard you? Heard the blender go off, so I thought I'd come and see how the uh, finished product is. You came right on time. Oh, great. He great. always comes right on time. He knows when the food's ready. I, I he know has when a the sixth food's sense. Ready. Uh, and there gazpacho. Uh, I don't know if I told you this, my team. Try this. It is one of my. I really enjoy gazpacho. You uh, do. Ever since I've been uh, interested in health food, healthy food, which has been for a long time, I always like a good cup of gazpacho. So hold on, I want to put it in there. Little lid. Oh, very it's nice. Just beautiful. Very nice. Um, <coughs> a little purple basil from our garden. There we Thank go. Thank you. Well, my Cheers. Team, cheers. <laughs> Thank you very much. There we go. Mmm. Mm. On a hot summer day. Delicious. Mm. Delicious. If you if you want even you chill this in the fridge, mm. you know, even cold mm. or even some ice, you throw in some ice mm -hmm. instead of throwing water like we did. Yeah. It'll be really cold down. Right. And um, this is I really enjoy this. Thank very you very nice much. Balance this of this is delicious. Mm -hmm. And for all our viewers, um, this recipe will be online soon. Mateen and Amy making gazpacho here at the Blue OK. Um, thank you for viewing. And I guess we would say, uh, would we say bon appetit, Martin? Yes, bon appetit. Mm -hmm. Well, bon appetit. bon appetit. Thank you very much.